We didn't even make it one pass and we're broke. I also own a farm. Here we go. You're now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. We are headed to go do some chisel plowing. Just picked up some Stewart's Pizza. Um, I guess it's brunch right now. But uh, hopefully we're gonna have a good day. I get some uh, acres wrapped up. Then the chisel plows can come off and we will uh, be ready for fertilizer. So hopefully Tuesday because Monday is a uh, holiday. What's today? Sunday. Hopefully Tuesday we will be able to pick up fertilizer, get it, that all spread, and then roll into planting this week. So appreciate you guys watching along, like and subscribe, and being part of the channel. And so previously we uh, chopped off this field, and Tristan came in and actually has a seeding. There's some weeds coming up through, like you said, but he'll clip those down. And well, there's the 4640 just hanging out in its prime for us. So I'll park. Right here, we'll have to move it after, but have it out of the way. We got some more acres to do, bud. You excited? Yeah, what a setup. Somebody did ask if uh, those saddle tanks can come on and off easy. Yes, if there's two people, they can come on and off very, very easy. It's two bolts on each side, and they slide right out. So, but, yeah. I'm gonna eat some pizza, and then we're gonna get go going. And we're back to farming. So we got, I don't know really what went on here. Um, I can't remember last year, but it's got a little bit of alfalfa growing in it, or clover, and then just weeds. I think they no-tilled, I'm not sure, I can't. And then the next section over, and then we'll, that will wrap up, I'd say the better ground. And then we gotta go up and do our hills, and we got a little bit on the other side still. So we got quite a bit of work to do this morning. Um, but we'll just keep hammering it out, right, bud? Right? You want to drive? No. Yeah. A little bit of residue building up here. Um, around stuff just because of the length of the material. But it'll be good. We'll, we'll push through. And, uh, yeah. Like I've said previously, my holdup was waiting on fertilizer from one supplier. And that supplier actually fell through. I don't know the exact reasoning. Uh, I know somebody's gonna say the exact reasoning, which is probably not the reason, but it works out. So Tri-Valley hooking me up again this year. Uh, Kelly and everybody there, really appreciate it. So we got liquid coming and we got bulk order of dry coming. Um, yeah, inputs are high, corn is low, so focus it on making sure we're in a good place uh come yeah end of 2024 so we will see exactly but hoping corn rallies a little bit i don't think it will but we can still make it work where we're at because we are diversified but as you see we're picking up corn stalks there so we gotta lift it up move around we didn't even make it one pass and we're broke oh uh, and uh, that those pins are a pain Huh. That's not good. I always used to have spares of these, but I don't. So that goes through the spring there. Um. Hmm. And I noticed that this is coming out. So there's a pin that goes down through it, and clearly it's not going through it any longer. Well then, I guess we will be taking this back to the farm to get this fixed. We didn't even make it a half a pass. I'm punching this out so that we can not lose that pin. 
I thought about just going back in the pickup, getting what I can, but then I was like, that bolt's probably gonna fight me. I'm gonna need the torches to get it off the knot to get the no get it back on. I'm just gonna bring it back. Need enough daylight. Need enough time. So. Pain in the butt. I've had them break before on other sounds, so. just hit my knee that freaking hurt oh okay let's see what we can what we can jerry rig really so last time i had one of these happen and i didn't have the right tool for it we made we made a round shaft out of you know we're gonna have to get this out of there put a new but we made a round shaft out of some square uh quarter inch or three squared pieces um I don't believe I have a lot of that. So I gotta dig through some piles and see. Okay, so we got half of uh, what used to be in there. I have a solid piece that is a little smaller. Um, I'm worried about the wall ripping out or stuff like that. But I think once it's secured in and held down, as you see, there's a groove here. So this would go in like that. We just gotta drill the hole through the middle and I might reinforce on both sides, do some welding across it just to give it some more strength because this bigger pin is what it's supposed to be. But that this is all I got other than I got this section of pipe. I cut one piece off of it. It's a little thicker, but not by much. Um, honestly, we gotta get, oh, we got a few more acres than I really think, but that's my plan. So I'm gonna drill, grab the mag drill and we're gonna drill it out. drill is game changer. Uh, I don't like how narrow that is, but like I said, we can weld some on there. Make it a little thicker. Well, there we have it. Uh, we didn't go exactly straight, but... We'll have to get the right ones ordered up for Colburn so he's got some spares. Surprisingly, that came right off. Okay. So yeah, we'll just run some beads across the top or maybe even put a bar in there because we'll cut it right back out. Um, pry bar. Do, do, pry bar hammer. Do, 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 do. Oh, shop's a mess. It does bother me, but we got other things that are priorities right now. What you guys there? Hang on for a ride. Come on. It's the washer bent. It's gone. find a new washer. Uh, let me... I'll just put that right like that for right now. 
Huh. I don't see any others that are actually. You really can't tell when they break till they're, they're laying on the ground. That's the problem. You look for cracks, but. I'm probably gonna build a second one just to make sure we're good. Oh, the sun's coming out. So I got a spare one and I think I drilled it straighter. Um, we're gonna keep that with us just in case. Um, we have another one. Everything came apart here, which I didn't mean to, but welded some more material up on top here. It's extremely hot right now. That should be pretty good. Um, get us through the last acres. What we got to do is get some bolts that all line up. So we got every spare. Should have had that before, but we were, I was pushing the limits. Um, I was hopeful. So let me uh, see exactly what we got. I'll put that at the bottom. Um, as you see, it's welded. Gave it a little more life there. And then uh, because as it springs up, the hardest thing, it pushes against the top. So... Hopefully that gets us through the acreage and then I can just order some more of those. They're easy enough to come by. But, alrighty, let me throw the spring back on. It all flipped over when I took it off. on now I did put a new bolt right here we got spares of the cross bolts that go across the back the only ones I don't have spares of are the big bolts right here that go down through um, so we'll have to I'm trying to think what I could have just to have one spare at least Okay, we're back together. Good to go. Get to overcome these things. <sighs> yeah. So we do got one spare of that, and that one I like a lot better. I think I drilled it straighter, but. Spare bolts in the toolbox. We'll throw that in the toolbox. We'll take this socket, and uh, we'll get going again. I did end up getting some bolts. They're not the right size, but if we lose one of the, I guess it would be the shanks itself. Um, we'll get through with one. It won't last that long, but it will keep us moving. So you gotta remember it is Sunday. We don't plan anything ahead. And uh, we've been a little busy. So we got what we need. We're headed back. It takes 12 minutes to get up there in the tractor back and forth. So yeah, we lost 30 minutes plus the wrench time, but I was surprised that that nut came right off put us in a good spot so all righty we'll uh go back up there and hopefully we can get it all wrapped up he is currently freaking out about some deer that ran across you can't chase deer over here a lot of people like hunting and yanko chasing deer off is not a good thing in a lot of places in my eyes but he gets so revved up he's like oh my god it's a deer oh my god Yep. So 
mowing stocks definitely helped us on what we ran last year. As you see, we're just balling up a little bit. I know disc chisels would solve that issue a lot, but we're working with what we got. So still appreciate Colburn. Let me borrow these. So we're gonna get him some wear parts for appreciation. Don't tell him. It's not like he watches every video, so. Uh, yeah, quite the spread still. So I was advised by the landowner to square this corner off. He says there's sinkholes pretty much and you can see that they're wet. He said once you get stuck in there, it makes a mess. So we're gonna go up here, square it to there, and then everything there. This ground here, I've done a quarter of a pass through some of it. It is extremely hard. The tractor does not like working through it, but we'll figure it out. I'll square this corner up some, and I'll probably jump over, keep doing cornstalk ground, and then we'll come back to this. That way, if something acts up, we can at least uh, probably mow board plow it. We are almost gonna have a bad day. We're wrapping up out front here. We gotta go back up into the hills and the less ideal ground to get plowed and bounce around between the ledge rock. But I looked back and uh, we got an issue, Yanko. But. It's a little warm out, nothing too crazy. We gotta get the windows tinted. That will make life so much cooler in there just tough at night um, hammer so they slop around a little bit and uh, as you see here this came unclipped and it's starting to bend so we're just gonna switch it out, tap it over, switch it out, and uh, if that's our biggest problem, wow, look at all that, quite the build up there. If that's the biggest problem of our day, after what we solved this morning, we are having a good afternoon. It takes some time. It's amazing how much. Yeah, what we can cover in a day. Um, he's broken. Well, pretty good spread. Well, we're getting towards the end of this front field. Probably gonna run and grab some food quick. Keep us going for the afternoon. It's take, it took me a little longer. There are some hard spots that we have to get through, but some idiot part truck right in the way. Yanko, did you park that there? No. Yeah, I didn't want it sitting right on the side of the road all, all day long. That's hard right there. So, we're just wrapping up this. Um, we gotta do the back swath, and then we gotta move on to our other ones. We'll probably go grab us an early dinner, that way we can just keep hammering. Probably go up to log house. It's been a quick minute since I've been up there. I take it he's open. He's open for Memorial Day weekend. It is Sunday. Um, all of our group chats and calls and whatnot. Yeah, everybody. Farmers dread Memorial Day weekend usually because nothing's open. And uh, such as somebody just blew a hydraulic line on their planter. And well, Memorial Day weekend. It's always nice if you know somebody that can make it happen, but you prepare as much as you can and stuff still happens, right? So we're gonna have to hit where it was weedy and whatnot, twice with the disc, maybe three times. But the rest of this is gonna get fertilizer this week, hit it with the disc and roll the baskets quick and be done. We're gonna work over there, wrap up what we can over there. We really needed to get chisel plowed or honestly, we still need a set of deep rippers, but that's a fall thing we'll see. Where, you, where we are at. This has been good though. 4640 needed a workout like this. Last year it kind of lived a life of luxury, not doing much. But 
It's a uh, silo blown, planting, and now it can just a plow some. Maybe it needs a grain buggy for the fall. We'll see when it goes up with duels and whatnot. Okay. We're gonna back the pickup out of the way. Yeah, we got some. Good thing we got rail cleaners. Um, wrap this up, and I just ordered ourselves some. I don't know if it's lunch or dinner or what. It's four o'clock now. So. Oh, log house right on point. There we go. Mozzarella sticks. I know somebody's gonna say, "Why don't you uh, cook for yourself this that, and blah blah." I do some. Um, honestly, we run out of time in the day. So we have not been grocery shopping in a long time, but then again, we don't know what our schedule is going to be and if we're going to be back or what. So it makes it a little challenging and I'm only one person. So yeah, at the end of the day, getting stuff to go usually is, I'd say it's more financial, financially beneficial because uh, then stuff doesn't go to waste and my time. I do like cooking, I just, cooking for one's not that great. Hey bud, how's your mozzarella sticks? Pretty good? You had a whole bunch of water, some mozzarella sticks. And let's get back to work. I lost the shake and I can't find it. I think it just blends in. So I've been doing a good job looking back the whole time and I don't know how I missed that one. You think you'd be able to see it a three foot C. But no. Nope. I was way up on the hill and looking for these. Looked down and I thought the tractor was on fire. Oh, we blew something on the AC. Oh, damn. I don't know. Whatever that is. And it was blown out free on. So now we got no AC. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do now. I don't know. Typical fashion, today is falling apart. Good thing we brought extra bolts. Um, yeah, that last pass going up, it was sitting right there. I just couldn't see it. I had to walk back and forth, back and forth, and finally I saw some glimmer. I don't know what happened to the AC, but it is not gonna be good. Frustrating. So we'll throw it back together. Uh, maybe. This bolt's in there pretty good. <sighs> it's bent. So, it didn't break clean out. And it's bent like that. I wonder if we can hammer it straight. Got it. Yeah, that's more to it. Okay. Everybody told me it's time for a beer. Give up. I don't like giving up, especially if we're we're running halfway decent. We were going along good. Farm on Sunday, fix on Monday.
brakes clean off. They just wear over time. So we got a smaller one that's probably gonna break off at some point, but it'll get us through, I hope. <sighs> that AC thing's really gonna annoy me. That was the whole point of this tractor. So. I'm gonna switch this. I'm gonna switch all of them. I think the socket's the same size. I'll grab the gun. Go back to farming. I don't know what went on. It's cold, so I don't know if that's a relief check or something. I should know, but it's rain a little bit now. It's good, but the tractor is sitting when it started doing that, so it's somewhat cold. We'll have to keep an eye on it. I have not given up yet. AC is still actually pretty good, which is kind of weird. I don't know what happened there. It's gotta be some relief valve on that compressor, but worked around the ledge rock where I could get to, and uh, we're done out here. We got one, if not two little sections up. Uh, they're bigger than little. I think I was a little wrong. I thought I had 40 acres left, but I'd say we got more. Let's make sure everything is with us. It looks good. On to the next. So back down where we got stuck the other day almost. Almost. Somebody did say to me, a buddy, you're only stuck if you need a chain and somebody else. So I guess that's true. If you can get out by yourself, but you use a chain. So yeah, right down in there. That little mud hole there. You remember that? <laughs> He thinks I'm pointing at something. We got dirty windows, but good sunset. The other day we realized that the cigarette lighter was no longer working. I don't think the horn doesn't work. And the radio used to do something. It wasn't good, but it did something. So I'm thinking we got a fuse that's blowing somewhere here. Lights still work. So saddle tanks are going to block them. But we're just plowing along, uh, avoiding any ledge rock. Once we're done with this, well, it's, we're going from here into the next field. Once we're done with these two sections, I think that will be it. Um, that one over to my right's got a lot of ledge we've got to work around. So that is why I did not rebuild the disc that we currently have. Because, um, yeah, the blades are just going to get beat up over there. And then, yeah. So... I guess we're gonna see what goes on. Well, yeah, like that lower section, maybe I could disc a few pass or chisel plow a few passes, but not many. But yeah, working it up. I don't, I don't, don't know when the last time any of this ground got worked anything. So we chisel plowed that previously. Almost got stuck in the bottom. Uh, one of two places over here. That should make it a lot better than us just disking it like we did last year. So that is pretty good ground too so it's amazing how the geography of uh the lay of the land goes and what the glaciers did to create it so. okay we'll go up wrap up that corner well that side the sun is setting on us and somebody did point out with the saddle tanks you lose all your lights on uh 40 series which yeah we don't have much lighting anyways. These candlesticks weren't very great last year. We don't have any behind. Oh, we got one behind us. I think that works. But it's a candlestick. So, what I'm hoping is, with the 8-row, if, if we could push 10, 10 acres an hour, which probably should be able to, uh, 10 to 12, depending on what fields we're in. Well, 10-hour day, do 100 acres 
um, and seven days you do 700 so take us a week to plant or something like that but hopefully we will not be planting at night because we did that last year and it did not work very well for us anyways but we're losing visibility pretty quickly I got it still but GoPro and visibility they've come a long way but they're not that great I know you can add a spotlight onto it but then you just see the glare of the window stuff like that but I can still see where we're going so we got a few passes left and then we will take the pickup home tomorrow we'll get this tractor moved back and we just got a few passes out back that we got to wrap up that honestly I forgot about um, some headlands and bottom hopefully we don't get the rain that they are saying it went from three quarters of an inch to a quarter to a half to I don't know where we're at because my phone is dead yeah we'll see actually we got a little bit of light up there a lot of glare but a little bit of light you might be able to unplug the ones that are right there and is there a high beam low beam yeah you guys can't really see on camera but i can see a lot though still can't see that can you? don't worry about it keep farming ended up wrapping up chisel plowing over there uh parked the tractor up took the pickup home and uh well we're a few days ahead on work compared to videos which is good just got home we have a load of fertilizer on and we've been making a lot of progress so appreciate you guys watching along and uh i'm eating lunch and gonna go right back into it so see you guys on the next one have a good one